So the Prydite gives us a whole lot of new applications that we can explore. So we've looked into these reactions, and if I were to say one of the limitations of this is that we do need that artificial amino acid that we introduced in the external surface of the capsids. Uh, there are some instances where this is great. Uh, this is uh, getting to be quite reproducible now to put artificial amino acids into proteins. But from another point of view, if you want to do something on very, very large scale, um, that does cause problems with the yields of the proteins and um, perhaps problems with, with you know, how much genetic engineering you want to do. And so we also want other methods that can still target native amino acids with the same level of precision. So um, there's another strategy that my lab has worked on for a number of years, probably about uh, eight years or so now, in terms of targeting native functionality on proteins. And what that is, is the N-terminus of proteins. Um, so we have three different ways to do this uh, that we've already reported, but um, here's one of our new ones. This is actually a version of our oxidative coupling. If I just go back, remember this is anilines adding to these amino phenols. What we found is if we change our reaction conditions, specifically we raise the pH of these reactions, now we have our same amino phenol, but now this will react with the N-terminal position of proteins and only the N-terminal position of proteins. And so now this is a second way we can use this reaction to modify a given protein of interest in a precise location, but not have to go through putting in the artificial amino acid. So it's complementary. Um, so this gives a variety of products. Um, just to sort of show this works particularly, this is a terrible color, but this yellow color here shows this is a very, very fast reaction reaching completion in about 10 or 15 minutes most of the time when proline is at the end terminus of the, pro, of the proteins. It's actually particularly fond of proline in that position. And so now all we need to do is introduce a proline, which is easy to do in proteins at that position, and then we can couple this with this reaction just at the end terminus. So in the last couple of minutes, I just want to show what we would use this type of reaction for, because again, um, you know, we lack the ability to put this anywhere we want. It's got to be at the 